steps that made Rocky famous. And trust me, these are some serious steps. Taking center stage here in Philadelphia this week will be another power sport, that of monster truck racing. Instead of the Italian stallion, you're going to see the black stallion taking on the legendary Bigfoot. And there's many more of the superstars of monster truck racing. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Tallahassee Civic Center in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Brad Kepner, and along with almost two dozen of the nation's fastest super modified bud racers, we are getting ready for what could be the ultimate showdown in indoor off-road racing. The big rivalry between Jeff Acker's insanity super charged Chevrolet Powered Roaster and the three-time and defending world champ Tom Martin in the Super Trooper 32 Chevy could be coming to a head right here in Tallahassee. Challenge Series. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, as we get ready to begin qualifying for this U.S. Hot Rod Association 8-Truck Monster Showdown. The very first man on the starting line, Mike Beeler, and the record, the elapsed time for the record Chevrolet, 2.64 seconds will obviously set the pace. Now, you can obviously see that the Carolina Crusher Chevrolet of Gary Porter has already been through the ringer. He had to go quicker than 264. The elapsed time, 2.22 seconds. From Woodstock, Illinois, Rob Fuchs and the first blood board. A wild landing for Fuchs. The first blood board goes 213. Number one by nine hundredths of a second. That will bring up Bennett Clark's Hardy Chevrolet four-wheel valve lean machine called Clydesdale. 221 for the Clydesdale. Unbelievable run. John Pyan in the Sunoco sponsored Bigfoot Ford. And the elapsed time, though, somewhat of a disappointment for John Pyatt and the Bigfoot fans. 2.33 seconds as John Kwasniewski's Buffalo Tremor pulls to the line. The elapsed time to beat 2.13. Kwasniewski and the Buffalo Tremor runs 2.09 seconds. The outlaw in one of its very few hometown appearances. Tremendous run by Mike White. On the brakes hard. The elapsed time 2.20 seconds. Next up, though, the Black Stallion of Michael Vodders out of the state of Maryland. The elapsed time for the Black Stallion Ford 2.093 seconds. The Black Stallion falls into the number two spot behind the surprising John Kwasniewski-driven Buffalo Tremor. And we still have eliminations yet to go. In just a little while, the entire Delaware Valley will open its arms to Mike Wine and the Jersey Outlaw as he tries to take a first-ever win in the Spectrum. But that won't be an easy task as he takes on the superstars of monster truck racing. And we'll see that battle when we return, when the Outlaw will have to take on the Black Stallion, Bigfoot, Buffalo, Tremor, and the rest. Stay with us. We're back at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. The number one qualifier ended up being John Kwasniewski and the Buffalo Tremor coming back from this action a week ago. One of the most horrific incidents so far of the 1991 U.S. Hobbit Association season, and you can still see plenty of sheet metal damage on the machine that came back seven days later. And Kwasniewski takes the first win of the event by the narrowest of margin. That'll bring out Rob Fuchs in the first blood, a machine that was surprisingly the number three qualifier. But he's got his work cut out for him in the very first round. He's drawn John Pyan and the Bigfoot Ford. And the whole shot goes to Bigfoot. Both machines sideways in the shutdown area. But Rob Fuchs came back around to win an incredibly close battle. But look at the distance at the finish line. About three feet, both machines into the retaining wall. 
in the wildest battle we've seen yet. The Super Wing sponsored Jersey Outlaw Ford is going to be hard pressed. He'll take on Mike Beeler and the always impressive Wrecker Chevrolet. But at the finish line, it is almost too close to call. The Outlaw apparently has come back around, and yes, the U.S. Hobbit Association officials say now Mike Wine is the official winner. Certainly one of the best efforts so far this season for Vodders taking the number two spot. A narrow win, but a win nonetheless for Gary Porter. He upsets the number two qualifier for the Chevrolet fans. But coming up, we've got the semifinal round with the final four remaining. Stay with us.